All right, hello everyone. This is going to be for section 8.3. And what we'll be doing here is talking about areas and perimeters. In this video in particular, we'll be talking about perimeters. And uh, so basically, all we're really doing here is talking about how far you would walk if you walked around one of these shapes. So if you were just a little person standing here and you walked along this length, and then you walked up to here to this corner, and then over to here, and then back down to there, how far would you have walked? And that's going to be your perimeter. And so coming up with that answer is just a matter of adding all four sides up. So I wrote down all four sides over here, the 10 meter side, the 9.4 meter side, so 10 meters I put right there, and uh, 9.4 right there, and so on and so forth, and 6.7 and 8.8. .8. I wrote them all up there so I could add them. And so I'm just gonna go through and add them. First off, they're all meters, so the meters is gonna come straight down. I have zero plus four, that's four. Four plus seven, that's 11. 11 plus eight, that's a 19. So carry the one, put our decimal place down. One plus zero is zero. One, I'm sorry, one plus zero is one. One plus nine is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16, 16 plus 8 is 24, carry the 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. And so we get an answer of 34.9 meters, all right? And so it's as simple as that. If we come down here and look at this next one, uh, here we have all these lines on here that are indicating that this is a rectangle, that all these sides are essentially the same as the other. So this double side here is the same as that double line side, and this single line here is the same as this single line right there. And so we can automatically know that this is 13.3 centimeters, and this one up here is 67 centimeters. And so now we know all four sides, and we can go through and add them up. I'm gonna let you try adding them all up there. Um, you can add up all four sides, or you can add up two sides and then multiply it by two. It's up to you whichever way you prefer. When you get your answer, uh, all the answers to these are on another page, so just go and take a look and see if you got it right. All right, over here, we're gonna do a little bit, uh, little bit more tricky ones than what we were just doing. Uh, for example, we're missing two sides here. We don't know, we don't know this side, and we don't know this side, all right? So we're missing those two sides and we have to figure out how to get them. So let's first start by trying to find the pink highlighted side. Well, if we look, we've got this 30 meter side, and if we could take and just drag it straight across, right? We're gonna just drag that straight across like that and set it right here. We'd set it right here like that. And then if we could take that pink one and drag it straight across like this, we would find that it would fit right there and that that brown 30 meter side plus whatever this pink side is, is gonna equal to that 53 meters. So that means that our pink side right here, right, this one, has got to equal, we'll do it in, I guess in this, or maybe it's a purplish side. Uh, we have to be able to say that that equals uh, 53 meters minus the 30 meters because the pink side plus the brown side equals the 53 meters and so if we take the brown side away if we take that away from the 53 what we have left over is that pink side and so by doing that we end up with 23 meters for the length of that pink side okay and so now let's take a look at the green side. If we take a look at the green side, we can do something very similar with top to bottom. And I am gonna let you give that a try, but if I label, uh, what's the color here, blue, if we make this the blue side, I want you to use the blue side and the green side in combination with this 100 meter side over here and figure out then what the length of the green side is. And once you do that, you'll be able to go through and just add up all the sides. This is 23 meters, so you need to find what the length of that green side is. Uh, 
When you do that, add up all the sides and then check your answer and see how you did. All right, this next one is pretty similar to that where we again have to figure out a missing side length. In fact, two missing side lengths. We are missing, in this case, we are missing this length here, which is the same as this length here, and we are also missing this little cross length right here. And so this one I'm gonna leave totally for you to do and try and figure that out. Uh, take note of what they're telling you is essentially this length here. This is 30 millimeters. And so if you put that right there, uh, if we could move that over to there, how much would you have left over? Well, it would be the blue side. So give that one a try and then try figuring out the pink side and then checking in your answers to see how you ended up doing. All right, last part here is finding the circumference of each circle with a given diameter or radius. Basically, the circumference is just uh, the perimeter, so to speak, of a circle. And if you remember this equation, hopefully you do, uh, you probably know that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi times the radius, okay? Or in fact, they're using lowercase r here, so I'll put 2 pi little r like that. Now, 2 times r is the diameter. The diameter is twice the radius. So we can also write this as just pi times d, the diameter. And so then we can go through and just start doing this. But they also told us that we should use circumference equals 2 times, they said use 3.14 for pi times the radius. And this will also equal 3.14 times d, just like that. And so now we can go through and do this. So for this first one, the circumference is equal to pi d. We have the diameter, so we'll use that one. It's going to be 3.14 times 1 centimeter as the diameter. So this is 3.14 centimeters. And there's our answer. Now for the next one, they actually give us the radius. So we'll use the radius version of the equation. This one right there. And it's going to be... 2 times 3.14 times 1 centimeter again, okay? So this has, uh, this, this circle is basically twice the diameter of the other one because this would have a diameter of 2 centimeters, so it's like twice as wide as the other. And so what happens to our circumference? Well, our circumference then should be twice what it is on the other one because if you notice this part right here, is the same as this part right here. We just have this extra two out in front now since it's our radius that's one centimeter, making our diameter equal to two. The other way this could have been is you could have called it the diameter and made it 3.14 times two centimeters, in which case we still, we would end up with twice as much. And so two times 3.14 is 6.28, and then times one centimeter gives us 6.28 centimeters. All right, I'll leave the next two for you to try. So go ahead and give that a look. That's, all right, I'll move over here to this one. So let's take a look uh, here. I've got to go back a page, sorry. Uh, use the pi key on your calculator and then round to the nearest hundredth. So we're going to try and find this perimeter here. So if we look at this, this is like, this is half a circle. If we were to continue it around, we'd have the whole circle. So, we need to break this into sections. First, we need this length here. It's already given to us. It's 30 meters. Now, given that, we need to figure out then what is this length right here. Well, it's half a circle. It's a semicircle. And so, therefore, what we can do is to find this area, we'll do it in color code, we can add the green, right, plus the blue, maybe I should make them dots so it doesn't look like minus signs. So we're gonna do the green plus the blue and that's gonna give us, the green part is 30 meters and then the blue part, right? That's a little trickier. It's gonna be one half of the area of what the circle would be. 
right? Area of the, or not the area of the circle, the circumference, sorry. The circumference of the circle. Well, because it's half a circle, it's halfway around it. And so we can do that by just going ahead and pulling this down, 30 meters plus one half times the circumference. Now, in this case, we know the diameter, so we'll just do pi times the diameter, which is 30 meters, because if this is half a circle, this is going right through the center, it's the diameter, so times 30 meters. All right? And so you can plug this into your calculator and get a number for this and check it in your answers in the back. All right, but it's gonna be 30 plus one half of pi, which will, if you want a quick little, one more little extra little step here, we can multiply the one half times the 30 and you'll end up just having to do pi times 15 meters, if you're fine with that. But either way, try plugging that into your calculator get your answer, and then check it and make sure that you got it right. All right, how about this next one? We need the perimeter of this one. So again, let's take this in sections. We again have a semicircle, half a circle, right there in the blue part. And then we have three of the four sides of a rectangle. So what we can do is use this side and this side, those are the same. Making, may it, since that one's two meters, that means this one is two meters. And then we've got this last side down here that's different and it's four meters like that. And so if you wanna think of it this way, we can say that it's ultimately, it's the blue, right? Plus the red, plus, and then we come in here to get plus the green part, right? Those are our those are our three different sections that are the same. And so this will equal, well, we need the area of the blue. That's gonna be one half. Oh, let me color code this again. It's gonna be one half the circumference, just like we did before, plus the red part. Well, the red part is just four meters plus the green part. Well, the green part is just two of the two meter sides, just like that. Or you could have written two meters plus two meters if you wanted to do each one of those green sides by itself. Either way is fine. Now, going back to this circumference one, we again need to take note that the diameter, right, is the same as this. This up here, this part right here, is also four meters, which means we have the diameter of that circle being four meters. So this is gonna become one half times pi times the four meters, all right, plus, get the red back out here, plus the four meters for the red side, and then plus two times two is four, four meters for the green sides. All right, so you can go ahead and try that one again in your calculator um, and see what you get. Check your answer and make sure you got what was supposed to be there. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this one. I think it's, yep, yeah, I think it's our last one for this. And then uh, this one's a little trickier. So I want you to just Pause the video for a moment and try and see if you can figure this one out before you come back and have me show you how to do it. So hopefully you're pausing that now and now maybe you're back. So what we have here is essentially just two circles. If we look at this top one, this is the upper half of a circle, right? A semicircle. And then this is the bottom half of that same semicircle, right? And then if we look over here, we have the right-hand side of a circle, and then here's the left-hand side of a circle. I know that these are semicircles because this rectangle in the middle, we're meeting at right angles in there. Because where this comes over is hits at a right angle, so I know I've got, uh, oops, I know I've got semicircles there. And so essentially, I just need to add up the two circles together. So it's gonna be the area of the red one, 
or not the area, sorry, the, the circumference of the red one plus the circumference of the green circle, all right? Because I put the two green pieces together, I have one full circle. I put the two red pieces together, I have one full circle. So this is gonna equal, and when I look at this red one, I see that this eight meters is this length right there, making it the diameter. So it's going to be pi times that eight meters, right? It's a one half pi times eight, and a, it's a, you know, it's a one half pi times eight and a one half pi times eight. So it's just a pi times eight because they just make one circle. And then plus over here, I have to do pi. And when I look, I see that this 16 meters here is this length over here, which is the diameter of the larger semicircles. And there's two of them, so it makes one full circle. So this is pi times 16 meters, okay? And we can reduce that. We can add this 8 pi plus 16 pi will also just give us pi times 24 meters. So type that into your calculator using your pi button and you should get an answer and then check it on the answer key. All right. Uh, fun little math fact here. We sometimes refer to numerals as digits, which goes back to the Latin word for fingers, digiti and reflects on the early use of fingers as computing aids, okay? Uh, they used to do math pretty differently than we do now. Uh, even back in the day of like Isaac Newton and stuff, they didn't say things, even when they were multiplying numbers together, this is an extra little interesting math fact, they wouldn't say something like three uh, times four. They would say, they thought of everything very geometrically, they would always think of three times four as the area of a rectangle and say they'd say the rectangle of three and four instead of three times four. So two little interesting math things for you there. Okay, so finish this up, go to the next page right here and you can see all the answers to those problems we were just doing. Check them, make sure you got the correct answers and uh, you know, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.